Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Freebeat, where I post new music-related content every single day, so if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, let's get started. So today, I've got my brand new Arturia Keystep 37 alongside the Teenage Engineering OPZ. And I'm going to show you guys how you can control the OPZ using the Keystep 37. There are actually two different ways of doing this, and both of them involve how to power the Keystep 37. See, unlike the original Keystep, the Keystep 37 requires a bit more juice than its little brother. It's got a little more features and uh, just needs a little more power to get going. So unfortunately, we can't power it just off the OPZ alone. It's going to need its own separate power source. So if we look at the back of the Keystep 37, we can see we've got two different power options here. We've got a standard wall adapter, which is 12 volts DC, 1.5 amps, or we can use a USB type B cable, otherwise known as like a printer cable. I'm going to show you guys both ways. Let's go ahead and get started with powering it over USB first. So to control the OPZ using only USB, we're going to first need this adapter that is included with the Keystep 37. It's a type B port to uh, two female type B ports and they're marked power and PC set that aside. You'll need a standard USB type A to USB full-size type B cable. This is the one that uh, again is included with the Keystep 37. So if you've got that laying around, you can just use that. And then you're also going to need this. This is a full-size type B cable to USB type C. And this is how we're going to connect to the OPZ. If you've used the Novation Launch Control XL with your OPZ, this is the same exact cable that we use for that. You're also going to need some sort of power source for the USB cable from the key step. So that could be a USB to wall adapter or something like a USB port on your computer. That's what I'm going to be using. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's take this adapter here, the uh, included B to double B splitter that comes with the key step. We're going to flip the key step back here and plug the male end of that into the key step itself right here. Just like that. There we go. Nice and secure. Now you're going to grab your type A to full size type B cable, which looks just like this. Again, this is the included one. We're going to take the adapter and we are going to plug this end into the port marked power. That's very important that you look on the uh, side of your adapter there and plug into the power port. Just like that. Now you're going to take this end and plug it into your power source. So again, that could be a USB to wall adapter, or it could just be a port on your computer, any USB power source. I'm just gonna plug it just off camera here into my computer, perfect. Next up, you're gonna grab your type B to type C cable. And we're gonna plug the type B end into the other port on the adapter marked PC. For this scenario, that PC tag might as well read data. Now we're gonna plug the type C end into the OPZ. And now we're good to go. So I'm going to plug my OPZ into my audio interface here. Now I'm going to power on my OPZ. Wait for that to boot up. Now I'm going to power on my Keystep 37. Let that boot up. And all of a sudden we are controlling it. It's very, very easy to change MIDI channels on the Keystep. You simply hold Shift and hit keys 1 through 16. So on the OPZ, by default, the kick track is channel 1, snare is channel 2, hi-hat and cymbals channel 3, samples channel 4, bass is channel 5, lead is channel 6, arp is 7, chord is 8, and so forth. Just along the 16 tracks up top there. So if we want the uh, snare drum, channel 2. There's all of our snare drums. Again, if we want bass, there we go, drop a couple octaves. Just like that. Now I'm going to show you guys how to power it using a normal adapter. And this is actually really easy. So let's unhook all this real quick here. So the Keystep 37 doesn't come with a normal brick adapter to the wall. However, marked on the back there, we can see that it says 12 volts DC, 1.5 amps. So any power adapter that fits in there and matches those specifications should work just fine. I happen to have one right here that I picked up on Amazon. So let's go ahead and plug that in. Let's make sure it works. So let's turn the key step on. Perfect. 
Be sure to turn the key step back off as well before we hook up to the OPZ. And speaking of hooking up to the OPZ, now all we're gonna need is that full-size Type-B to Type-C connector. I'll link one of these down below in the description if you wanna pick one up. We're gonna plug the Type-B end into the back of the key step, just like that. Get that cable out of the way. And the other end is gonna go right into the OPZ, like that. Let's go ahead and turn the OPZ on. Wait for it to boot up, turn on the key step, and plug the OPZ back into my audio interface. And there we go. It's working just fine. So to get these guys working up here, you first need to get on your Mac or PC and go download the MIDI Control Center software from Arturia. Once you're there, you can plug the key step into your computer via USB and you can set these to whatever CC you would like. So I just have them uh, set to basically work with the four knobs there. So we're on bank one right now. So base parameter one, base parameter two, filter resonance, filter cutoff. Go to bank two, attack, decay, sustain, and release. Go to bank three, which I actually have set to the fourth page of parameter effects because I don't like using uh, knobs for the LFO when I'm not on the app. So this should be effects N1, which in my case is delay, effects N2, which is reverb, this one's gonna be pan, which I'm not gonna demonstrate right now because I'm actually recording mono, don't tell anybody. And then this one is track volume. So there you have it. That's how you can use the Arturia Keystep 37 to control the Teenage Engineering OPZ both ways. It's super easy. You just need a couple adapters and you're ready to go. I highly recommend doing it. We're going to have a jam on this in just a few days. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hope you guys are looking forward to that and I hope you did enjoy this video. If so, be sure to leave a like on it. If not, you can leave a dislike. That's okay too. Doesn't hurt my feelings. Just makes me try that much harder next time. Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.